My favorite subject was English. Um, any of the liberal arts, so English, humanities, French, those were probably my three top favorites. My favorite subject, of course, was theater, and I liked the film club. And other than that, I guess English. I guess English was my favorite. I didn't like math so much. My favorite class probably is calculus. I'm really good at math. And also dance, which I'm in two dance classes just because I've been doing that since I was three. Oh, I loved English. Um, I had this amazing English teacher my senior year of high school, and we used to watch movies. We'd have a tea day on Wednesdays and watch movies and analyze them. And I also loved history and French. I liked actually pretty much everything. Terrible at math and science, though. I guess sometimes English. And the, in, like, in the first years of high school, I took a lot of theater classes, which I, I liked those. Just kind of took them for basic stuff. But lunch, that was the main one. <laughs> My favorite teacher in high school. Well, I guess that would have to be my theater teacher. I would have to say my favorite teacher ever was Mrs. Everson. Uh, Miss Davis. We called her Dis Mavis. She was really cool. I don't really think I had one, but uh, I kind of enjoyed the PE teacher because of the funny way that he liked to sit. I liked my uh, senior high school uh, uh, English class. Short shorts, if you know what I mean. <laughs> with our uh, cool teacher with the long blonde hair. He was cool. Probably. Miss Feinstein, she was the French teacher. Um, Mr. Dipple, my calculus teacher. She was just really cool. You know, she always wore these cool little glasses and had spiky hair and dressed really cute, but pretty much like all the kids. I used to not like him very much, but now I do because I learned how to suck up and he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite teacher was Mr. Beal. Yes, he was awesome. She really believed in me and gave me um, a lot of confidence as a young woman. He had a really good way of teaching. He would take answers if they were funny, even if they weren't the right answers, because it was funny and it made him laugh. And uh, if you were ever sleeping, he'd slap you in the head with a huge, like, four-foot-long ruler. So he, he was hilarious. Ooh. Teacher that I hated the most, Miss Penlin. Mr. Dipple can just kiss my butt. <laughs> what teacher did I hate? I'm not gonna say that. She was a mean, mean mother. She wasn't really my teacher, but she was our cheerleading sponsor. Oh, she was evil. I did not like her. She was almost sexist. She's a woman, but she'd like always let the boys go to the bathroom and never let the girls, and always let the boys answer, and never let the girls answer. And she's old, and she had squinty eyes and glasses, and she had a high-pitched voice. She'd always, you know, be like, oh, your, shorts too, your shirt's too short, or raise your arms, I can see your belly button. She didn't really care about us. She just said, you know, girls, oh, I just, I just didn't like her at all. She had this complex, and she didn't like girls, and she did not like me, so I really did not like her. Oh, any girls I hated? Well... <laughs> oh yeah, I had my enemies. Oh yeah, definitely. Not really. I'm sure that there were plenty of people who hated me though. Because when you're quiet and you're shy, a lot of people think you're stuck up. No, but my best friend turned into my enemy. Oh, she's stuck up. Her name was Crystal. She's uppity. <laughs> and she got the same prom dress as one of the other, my other best friend, and there was this big fight and everything. It was, it was bad. She did it on purpose, though, so we hated her for it. No, I don't have any enemies. Um, I have a lot of guy friends, and I also have a lot of girlfriends. There's actually a few girls that I hated in high school, sadly. However, whenever I first meet girls, they seem to instantly hate me for some reason. But then once they get to know me, they like me. But I don't have any enemies. There was a girl, Lindsay, that I really, really, really hated. Um, we were friends at first, and. And she tried to get together with Duncan, which was my boyfriend at the time, and it was a big dramatic thing, and then she keyed my car, so I keyed her car, and then I slashed her tires, and then she slashed my tires, and yeah, so we hated each other most definitely. <laughs> These mean girls that were friends with my ex-boyfriend, they had all, a lot of them had dated him, so after I started dating him, we're not the same type of people. They're like all, grungy looking girls. I didn't like them. And after they were like, like, oh, you like her? They were totally mad at him. And this is this went on for like a long time. Called me names in high school, rude to me, just would see me at a party, like would chase me, my friend out. And I mean, I know I may look like a tough girl, but I run. I mean, I run, <laughs> get in my car. Like that's my biggest weapon, my car. Cause I will run you over with my car, but I won't use these things, you know. 
Yeah, I'm not very intimidating. Well, there was always this group of girls that were just awful to people, and I had been with them ever since I was three years old. They lived in the same neighborhood, and one girl in particular, her name's Lauren West. Hope you're not watching, or maybe you are. And she was just awful. Just, you know, she thought she was beautiful. She had horse teeth. She was just mean to people, and she followed me. I thought when I went to college I'd get rid of her. No, she ended up living in the same dorm as me. Yeah, and we had the same class together, and she told everyone we knew each other. And I just can't stand her to this day. I can't stand her, and I keep track of what she's doing and how miserable her life has been. It sounds really mean, but she's an awful person. I went to Lamar Consolidated High School outside of Houston. Um, I was telling somebody the other day, if you've seen the movie Election, her on crack would probably be me because I had to be involved in everything. So if I wasn't in the club and like president of the club, then I wasn't happy. So if there was a contest of anything, I wanted to be in the contest and hopefully win it, but it didn't always happen that way. I went to high school at Clear Creek High School in League City, Texas, and I was a metalhead. Queen's Rack. <laughs> Iron Maiden. So yeah, I hung out uh, at the back of the school. Um, but I was very smart. And mostly I was just doing people's homework. I'm not smart anymore. It wore off. I go to Humble High School. I'm class president, and I'm captain on the drill team. I'm in FFA, where I raise animals, like my steer named Brutus. I've also raised about four or five lambs, and I've had rabbits forever. And also, I'm in National Honor Society and Student Council. I went to Kempner High School, and that's in Sugarland, Texas off of Voss and Highway 6. I was a country girl, uh, mostly. I rode horses and barrel raced in the rodeo, and I was in FFA, and, and then I did theater besides that, musical theater and stuff like that, and that's how I ended up getting into this in the first place. I went to Clear Lake High School in Clear Lake. I was the hyper one with the big poopy hair. Um, we didn't have flat irons when I was, like, younger, so, uh, just kind of throw it out sometimes. <laughs> and um, just, I, I really just, I just, I found the friends that were not involved in anything and we just kind of did our own thing. A lot of laughter, a lot of peeing in our pants from laughter. And I was just, I was kind of just the kid that, I did get good grades. I always went to class. I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are skipping. And you know, oh my gosh, y'all smoke cigarettes. But then I changed a little bit. <laughs> Got a little corrupted, and <laughs> but high school was a, a cool experience, and I was just one of those one of those weird kids. I went to high school, Smoky Hill High School in Aurora, Colorado, a very suburban public high school. I was a good mix, I guess you could say. I was one of the popular kids. I hung out with the popular kids, and I dated, you know, the football players and homecoming princess type. And then I was also very smart. I was in IB. It was called International Baccalaureate, so it was advanced classes. And then I was in drama club, so I was a wide array, and I had a lot of different kinds of friends, which people either liked or they didn't, but I like to be diverse. I went to high school on the north side of Houston and Westfield High School. I was a cheerleader, I was president of my thespian club, but I don't know if I was necessarily in the popular group. I kind of, I don't know, maybe I was too boring. <laughs> I think high school is always a great place to set any sort of you know, sitcom or comedy like this because we all have had the experience or we're all going to have the experience. And you know, the stereotypes just hold true. I'm sorry, I don't care where you go to school, they're the popular ones, the geeky ones, the athletic ones, the ones who don't know what the heck's going on. Because high school's funny, and high school's awkward, and it's the years you'll never forget. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> it's just funny, it's funny in real life. I'm in high school right now, and it's just funny. It's the time where you got hormones, and so everyone's experiencing themselves for the first time, and feet are growing faster than anything else, and limbs are going, and everyone's clumsy, and... Because everything that sucks is in high school. <laughs> everyone's just discovering who they are, and uh, there's, there's lots of social drama that can happen. Everybody knows the drama, and there's also, in Pony Pony Dash, there's also all the different personality types, like the bully, and the spaz, and the um, 
super inventive one that sneaks and spies on everyone. And there's the bookworm. And so, and everybody can laugh at that because everyone's been there and known those people in high school. You got all different types of people. We, we, funky things happen. That, I mean, I would that would never happen now happened in my high school. Or you can laugh at them now, but back then it was like the end of your life which is pretty funny. High school is a great place to sit a comedy just because everyone can relate to it. Um, you know, you have your stereotypical characters and your cliques that everyone knows about and, you know, everything is so, so important in high school and so serious and, you know, we can all make fun of ourselves. I think it's fun. <laughs>